Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 5th of February, 2019. Just read an interesting article on Politico, and uh, I thought I'd share it. Virginia Lieutenant Governor says timing suspect for smear allegations against him. Hmm. This is the uh, Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. He said on Monday that it's no coincidence an uncorroborated sexual assault accusation from more than a decade ago has emerged right as he potentially could be elevated to the state's governorship. The accusation surfaced Sunday night on the fledgling conservative website Big League Politics, the same site that on Friday unearthed a racist photo of Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's yearbook page that has gravely imperiled his governorship. I think it's ended his governorship. Fairfax first responded to the allegations in a statement posted to Twitter at about 3 a.m. on Monday. I guess he has had a tough time sleeping, huh? <laughs> in which he threatened legal action against those attempting to spread this defamatory and false allegation. The statement attributed to his chief of staff and communications director said that Fairfax was aware of the accusations against him and that his accuser had approached the Washington Post before his inauguration last year. It said that the Post carefully investigated the claim for several months and decided not to publish a story after being presented with facts inconsistent with Fairfax denial. The absence of any evidence corroborating the allegations and specific red flags and inconsistencies within the allegations. Hmm. There's an embedded video where you can listen to this dirtbag. In a news conference Monday in Richmond, Virginia, said he wasn't sure why the accusation had resurfaced, but he said the timing was suspect. Does anybody think it's any coincidence that on the eve of potentially my being elevated, that that's when this uncooperated smear comes out, he asked. Does anybody believe that a coincidence? I don't think anybody believes that it's a coincidence again, particularly with something. This is not the first time this was brought up. You know, I wonder if uh, both of these individuals would agree to a polygraph test. Now, I know that it might not be admissible in court, but it would be interesting to see if first if they'd agree to it, and second, what those results might be, if in fact they agree to it. Here's the concern that I have. Where did Justin Fairfax meet this lady? Hmm? Well, he met her at a Democratic convention. So what does that tell you? It tells you she's a Democrat. Why would a Democrat want to destroy another Democrat's political career if it wasn't true? Hmm? I want you to think about that. Now, if she were a Republican, well, that might cause me to wonder. But since they met at a Democratic convention, I gotta believe she was and is a Democrat. This guy's a dirtbag. That's what he is. And I'm willing to bet that he would not agree to a polygraph. He knows the truth. That's why he was up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He can't sleep. It's uncorroborated because it's not true, he said, adding that you don't have to be cynical. You don't have to understand politics to understand when someone is trying to manipulate a process to harm someone's character without any basis. Well, I wasn't there. You weren't there. She was there. And he was there. Why would she come out and accuse him of something like that? for the second time. Hmm? The accusations center on a sexual encounter that both parties acknowledged took place in a hotel room in 2004. 
though through an attorney Fairfax said that the encounter was consensual, according to the Post. Fairfax and the woman told different versions of what happened in the hotel room with no one else present, and ultimately the Washington Post could not find anyone who could corroborate either version. Well, how could you find anyone if there's no one else there? Wake up! Reporter Teresa Vargas wrote in the article published Monday, like I said, folks, a polygraph would go a long way to prove or to disprove, would it not? He won't agree to it. She would. But he won't. That's what I think. There's more for you to read. Let me know what you think. You sure as hell know what I think. We got an idea what this woman thinks, and we know what the lieutenant governor thinks, don't we? The link will be attached. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to the Virginia lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax. Thanks for listening.